BrahMos, which is the world's fastest cruise missile, was successfully integrated into the Indian Army and the Navy. The missile was a great success with no rivals. But India had a bigger requirement. It wanted to integrate the BrahMos with the Indian Air Force. But India had no dedicated bomber plane to carry a big missile like the BrahMos. The best fit will be its main strike aircraft, the Sukhoi 30 MKL. But it's not going to be easy as integrating the 2.5-ton BrahMos missile with an agile fighter like the Sukhoi is more than a welder's job. India already has a wide array of air-to-surface missiles for its air force like the KH-59, Exocet, etc. with a considerable range of 200 to 250 kilometers. But BrahMos is special. The BrahMos missile is jointly developed by Russia and India. It uses ramjet technology, which has no moving parts. Cruising at Mark 3 speed, the BrahMos is the fastest cruise missile in the world. It also has an impressive range of 290 kilometers. But BrahMos is basically a land-based missile. Land-based launches do not cover much of the enemy area. If a Sukhoi 30 MKI is able to launch the BrahMos missile, Within the safety of the Indian airspace, it can take out critical military infrastructure such as nuclear weapon batteries and launchers. But the Indian officials will soon realize that integrating the BrahMos with the Sukhoi 30 is an uphill task. India first approached the Russians for integrating the BrahMos with the Sukhoi 30. The Russians agreed but charged a whopping 200 million US dollars or approximately 1650 crores. By any standard, this was way too much. Then on 1st May 2013, the CEO of BrahMos Aerospace, the company that manufactures the BrahMos missile, inquired with the HAL chairman about whether HAL had the technical capability to do the integration on its own. Integrating the BrahMos with the Sukhoi is not easy, as the BrahMos weighs 2.5 tons and is designed to be launched from land and ship-based platform. The HAL then conducted a study on the feasibility of the integration. HAL engineers in Nashik studied the Sukhoi 30 MKI and found that in spite of challenges, the HAL would be able to do the integration on its own along with the support of many other private agencies. But HAL was given a budget of just Rs 80 crores or 10 million US dollars. HAL decided to forego any profit out of this integration and decided to take up the project purely on national interest. Also, it will be a great learning experience for HAL. The Indian Air Force has no dedicated bombers like the B-52 or the Tu-160, which can easily carry large payloads. India has only multi-role fighter jets like the Sukhoi-30, Jaguars, etc. The Sukhoi-30 MKI is the main fighter jet of the Indian Air Force. It was designed in the 1990s and did not have a modular design, which means it cannot be modified so easily. But the Sukhoi-30 was the only aircraft capable of carrying the 2.5-ton BrahMos missile, but it needed elaborate modification. First, the Sukhoi-30 aircraft must undergo safe store separation analysis consisting of wind tunnel and CFD analysis. Watertight NMG of the aircraft had to be generated from 2D drawings. The structural modification had to be within the aircraft's center of gravity and in such a way they did not alter the vibration characteristic. We must understand that Sukhoi-30 is a Russian aircraft and India was doing the modification on its own. The HAL had to involve multiple agencies like the RCMA, DGAQA, etc. These agencies subdivided the work involved in the project. While physical modification was being done, another challenge was the aircraft software, which must be edited to fire the BrahMos missile. HAL created a consortium of industries to get the software modified. HAL would take another four years to complete the integration process. Then on 22nd November 2017, a modified Sukhoi 30 MK took off from Kalekunda Air Base. It fired a 2.5-ton BrahMos missile towards a target located 260 kilometers in the Bay of Bengal. After a brief flight, the BrahMos hit its target accurately, creating history. The knowledge gained by the HAL in integrating the BrahMos with the Sukhoi 30 was immense. It would be used to upgrade the Sukhoi 30 with the stronger structures, better avionics and radars making it more effective. If you like this video, please subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.